What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Showbeth. with another video, and today we're talking about Bay Blade. Now, I know you remember these games. I used to love Bay Blade games. I think I had one on, like, PS1, and I used to play them a lot. I'm, like, Pokemon, I'm in... Yu-Gi-Oh and all those older anime. I'm not really specifically in tune with what Beyblade is doing now. I don't know if they have a new show. I think the last one I've seen was like a little bit of burst, and it was like maybe like the first couple episodes. But um, you know, I made my way all the way up to like Metal Masters and stuff, and I enjoyed it. It was cool for what it was. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock it. It's obviously more centered around youth, so. It's not something I'm heavily invested in, but it is something at least. And I love the video games. I love the idea of Blade Blade simply because it's basically toys with spirits inside of them. I don't know, something about it just seems so cool. I think back then I used to love a lot of that stuff, like the beat em on and the Chaotix, all of those like older anime and stuff I used to love. I always felt like Blade Blade was special though. For one, the opening was fire. And on the channel, I always mention like DVDs that I might have had or uh, VH, VCR tapes. You know, uh, the VHS tapes that I used to have and um, how they kind of shaped my childhood. Because, you know, you would go to, like, the store, like a store like Big Locks or something, and you would go and they would have uh, a tape there, and you would just kind of ask, could you get it? You know what I'm saying? And that was, like, my source of enjoyment because back then there was no internet. There was no streaming, so you couldn't just kind of watch everything. Now, I remember I had a specific little device. I cannot remember what that device is now, but they never really caught on, I don't think. They were basically mini DVD players. I'm pretty sure if you were watching this video, you remember those. Uh, they're like mini DVD players, and you would put like a mini disc inside it that they made specifically, and one, and they would like play on the little mini DVD player. It would play. And to me, it was so cool. It was like ahead of its time. Like right now, I can go look up Blood Blade on my phone and watch it in like HD 4K quality on my phone. But back then, you literally had a mini DVD player that would literally play certain types of DVDs, like anime DVDs and stuff, and it would play right there on the screen. No TV needed. It was absolutely amazing. I'm going to try to find the name of that little DVD player and show you guys a picture so you guys can remember, but I know it's like a fever dream, but it was such a little amazing device. You know, I only had like two DVDs at that time, but it was just cool to kind of go back and watch it. And I remember I had like a, some episodes of Blade Blade. It was just them facing another team or whatever in like a forest or something. I begs the question though, I've been with this series for a long time. So let's talk about the game. Let's talk about what we're really here for. Yeah, the original Blade Blade Let It Rip. This is the one I played on PS1, and I like to go back and play from time to time because I had this disc. I don't remember how I got it, but I had it, and it was very fun. And I used to love just kind of going around and, and just playing exhibitions sometimes. For some reason, little spinning tops that you control were a lot of fun. It didn't really seem like it was complex or it was highly sought out there, but it was fun. And we get into like the Metal Fusion era and stuff, because I played like a couple of them, played some on like, I think one was on GameCube, uh, and then you had like the Metal Fusion era, which is basically the era after Tyson and the gang, and I didn't think I would actually like that era, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, the main character of that specific series in the dub had a terrible voice, but the actual season, the actual show wasn't that bad. I thought it was really cool. I, I liked some of the, the blades, and it kind of gave me like a weird sense of like, uh, Shaman King, in a sense, because yes, you're fighting with a tool or weapon, and there's like a deeper meaning behind it all, you know, like Yu Gi Oh! It's like just playing cards, but at the same time, it's like spirits and monsters you can summon and things that just are deeper than the actual just playing cards. Like, if you die, you'll be in the Shadow Realm, and it's kind of like that with Blade Blade, man. That's why all these games were fun to me. Like, I think the DS or 3DS versions were particularly fun and they were really fun because you would actually play them and if you bought like a special edition you would get a special edition um beyblade and stuff with it i feel like that's some of the coolest like things that you can actually package with your games like a lot of those games back in the day had packages where you can basically get like a, a rare you get a card or something like that but like with beyblade you would get a literal beyblade so when you're going to pick the game out you can kind of choose which version you want depending on which bed you want in the front. I always like the idea of packaging. I hope that we can get a new a newer version of a game, to be honest with you. Uh, I would love to see like a PS5 version of a Blade Blade game. I don't know if how well it would actually do though. 
Like, I know Burst is a thing. I need to see if there's, like, at least a mobile game. Because I feel like it do really good in the mobile game space. Considering that you can collect so many Beyblades and build them to your, like, it honestly would probably do really good in that space. I'm doing a little research and see if they got any game that I would more be interested in. Like I said, though, I am an OG fan. I love, like, Tyson and the gang. So, hopefully, this will be, like, a good way to kind of get back to that. But with that being said, guys, do you feel like Beyblade is done? You think there don't really need to be any more video games? I played the one on Wii. That was a good one. Um, I feel like a lot of those games, though, on Wii specifically, they were cool to, like, play against people. But they didn't have any a lot of story substance. And that's cool, you know, for what it is. But I feel like with Beyblade on the table, there's a lot of missed opportunities. So, with that being said, guys, would you like to see that? Is there something you're interested in? Would you like that for Switch? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next video.